This is the beautiful Grand Cascade, one of my favorite romantic Parisian restaurants. It is always a joy for me to rediscover Paris. The Patisserie des Rêves is a special destination for French pastry lovers. Philippe Contissini, one of the leaders of the revolution of French pâtisserie, has spent years modernizing traditional French gâteaux like the Millefeuille and the Saint-Honoré. His Paris-Brest was voted the best in Paris. Ma, ma façon de, de faire les choses, c'est de pouvoir toucher les gens. J'ai revisité tous les classiques en 2009. J'ai tellement travaillé dessus, mais tellement, ça m'a pris tellement de temps, au travers de la structure, de l'eau, de l'air, de l'humidité, que ces classiques étaient les gâteaux les plus créatifs que j'ai fait dans ma vie. Philippe would like me to taste his stunning vanilla and red fruit charlotte, a complex structure of vanilla mousse, fruit jelly and raspberry compote trapped in a light sponge biscuit. Là, pour le coup, on a un vrai contraste de, de, de texture, de sensation, et on a une émotion fruitée, mais très très longue en bouche, et très adoucie par la bavaroise à la vanille. The magic is the mix of the vanilla with the raspberry that makes the flavor of the raspberry last so long. C'est très bon. Thank you. The street markets of Paris are looking better and better, and the new season cherries are irresistible. And they are sweet. This appetizing cherry and almond tart was traditionally made with cherries grown just outside Paris. I first mix two eggs with 50 grams of caster sugar, then add 50 ml of cream, 60 grams of soft butter, 100 grams of almond meal, and whisk well. Next, I line a greased tart mold with a thin layer of sweet pastry and spread the almond cream over the pastry shell. I like to garnish the top generously with juicy pitted cherries. If you don't have a cherry pitter, use unpitted cherries, but make sure you tell everybody about the stones. I bake the tart in a preheated oven at 180 degrees until the base is cooked. It looks great dusted with icing sugar. Voilà, the delicious tart amandine, aux cerises de Paris. Paris by night is fabulous. A dining cruise on the River Seine is one of the best ways to experience the magic of the City of Lights. As a young chef, I worked only a few steps away from this stunning Place de la Concorde, where the Champs-Élysées leads to the Arc de Triomphe, the iconic finish of the Tour de France. It has been a privilege for me to present Tesla Tour 2015 from so many stunning French regions, but also from Belgium and the Netherlands. What a pleasure to sample so many outstanding cheeses, charcuteries, seafoods, and of course, great beer, fruity ciders, and fine wines. It was a special joy to meet creative chefs and pastry cooks that take the art of French cooking to new dimensions with so many wonderful dishes. Until next year, merci et au revoir.